Hi, Steph here. Should you learn JavaScript in 2016, 2017, and going forward? Short answer is yes. JavaScript is now the most popular programming language in the world. It's got a bit of quirks to it, and it actually can be um, a bit of a mind screw once in a while because it, it works in weird ways compared to other languages out there that's for sure like for instance java which is a much heavier language a much more uh, verbose syntax meaning you gotta write a lot of code that gets stuff done with java it's actually easier to learn in many respects because the language is more consistent in terms of the actual syntax and in the way it works it's hard to explain but if you get into it you'll see that so should I, would I learn in 2016, 17? Of course, yes, JavaScript is hugely important. It's the only language of the web browser. So if you want to do any of the Ajax stuff, synchronous coding, you want to do any of the HTML5 stuff, uh, animation web browsers, you want to do uh, uh, mobile app development um, using the HTML5 stack, which is very, very popular. Uh, you got to know JavaScript. No kidding. If you do web apps, you're going to do whether your, your back end is Ruby, PHP, Django, Java, C Sharp, you're going to do JavaScript. So JavaScript is a hugely important language. And now I'm hearing that JavaScript is now being used now in IoT, Internet of Things. So that's pretty crazy stuff. So you got frameworks. So JavaScript, you know, for all its warts and, you know, uh, you know, JavaScript is actually the first programming language I believe I learned back in 95, 96, whenever it came out the first year, although, you know, it wasn't very useful back then compared to today. Uh, JavaScript is not only used in the web browsers, not only used to create mobile apps, now IoT, Internet of Things. It's actually also used, of course, on the server with projects like Node.js and others. Now, it's immature in many respects. Uh, in certain, you know, it's going to take a couple more years before you could uh, say that JavaScript on the server side is as mature as, say, PHP or C Sharp or Django or uh, Python or Rails. But it's coming along, and it's got some real cool things. I would use, still use JavaScript on the server for uh, something called a microservice where you know use it where javascript is strong asynchronous communications and stuff like that i've talked about that in other videos so yeah i would definitely be learning javascript in 2016-17 now do you make it your main programming language that depends on the type of work you want to do so you learn a bit of javascript you can start with the basics learn the client side javascript meaning the javascript the traditional javascript where it works in the web browser and then from there, you can check out what type of career you want to get into, what kind of work you want to get into. Do you want to get into mobile app development? Then, yeah, you learn JavaScript uh, with the HTML5 stacks. That's HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. And then you learn one of those middle layers that allows you to take your HTML5 stack. By the way, HTML5 stack is HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. So that's, that's what we call it, the stack. I'll call it the stack. Anyway, so you take that HTML5 stack and then you use it through a translation matrix, something like Cordova is an example, open source free, takes all, takes your HTML5 mobile app, converts it so it works on iOS, works on Android, works on Windows 10, no problemo. So that's kind of cool. And a lot of big companies are moving in that direction. They're saying instead of writing an app in Java for Android and having to write it from scratch again for iOS, uh, using Objective-C or these days Swift. Um, people say, no, 99% of apps can be done with HTML5 and it's just getting better because the JavaScript engines are getting better, they're getting faster. And I think that's where it's going to go. So yeah, learn JavaScript, but pay attention to uh, how much you learn and how much you dedicate to it depends on what your career goals are. If you want to do server-side web apps and stuff, I would recommend, especially if you're a freelancer, you put more effort, of course, into PHP on the server side and JavaScript's your secondary on the server if you use it at all. So it depends on what you want to do. But yes, JavaScript is extremely important. And I'm, if I were... Well, not if I were, I advocate these days that people learn HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, first three coding languages that you learn. Those three are super important. And then from there, you can decide what you want to do, depending on your career. I talked about, you know, where uh, Python sits, where Java sits, where PHP sits, where Ruby sits. Uh, Ruby sits at the back of the bus now. So anyway, 
That's uh, my little dig at Ruby. Just because the Ruby guys are going to scream and cry. Don't get me wrong. Nice language. All language has a pro and, pros and cons. But anyway, yes, JavaScript, learn some. Even if you're just going to do a little bit, it's super important in 2016, 2017, and beyond. All right, that's it. Bye.